Hello, this is Christopher Graham here on the 2nd of January, 2022. And I have my lovely wife here with me, Denise. And I just had something that I wanted her to uh, share uh, with you all. And just from her own recollection, she told me about it. And I just wanted you to hear it too. So, baby, um, when you're ready, you just take away and just say everything you remember. Okay. All right. I am being told to recall a dream slash vision. What I had, uh, but you remember what it was a few months ago. I yes. know. I always have these dreams or visions or whatever have you, have you want to say it. But we were somewhere, he and I, and I don't know if we were on vacation or it looks like we were on a vacation somewhere. And I remember looking out a window. We was in maybe on the second story, third story. And I he was hearing this noise. So I went to look out a window. It's like a kitchen window. It's like a small window. Like it was a, it looked like a different country. The way things were set up and the way the buildings were made. And the apartment, I don't know if it was an apartment or whatever. Because it was a small like a place, like an apartment kind of. Or a hotel kind of like. But it had a small window over the sink and the kitchen. So as I was passing, going to the bathroom, I was passing this little window that was in the kitchen. And as I looked out of the window, I can see this huge like tidal wave, like a wave coming towards us. And all I could see was water as high as I could see, as far as I could see. It was like this big wall of water and it was rushing towards us. And so I could start the building we were in was starting to shake and sway. And so when I went, ran from the kitchen area, which was on the right side of the hallway, to I was going to the living room to see what was going on. And so as I was running, went from like one side of the, the apartment to the other side, which was really small. And I went to, to the front window, which was a big window pane. And it's like, you know, the two the large windows with the window pane split. And the window was actually open because it was in the summertime you know, it was real nice and warm outside. So as I was looking out the window, I could hit hear the water was, was pushing against the apartment or the condominium where that was making it sway. It was the water going back and forth. So as I was looking out the window, I was I was pushed out of the window like I was thrown or tossed out of the window from the water hitting the building. And so I landed on was um a car below, like a kind of a van, a station wagon type thing. I landed on, it threw me out of the window and I landed on top of it. And so, and then as I, you know, was holding on to the top of it and I was looking up like towards my right and I could see the water just rushing from around all the other buildings and it was, the water was coming down and I could see cars and I can see the other buildings and the water was really, really high and the building that we were in wasn't immersed in water yet, but it was at least three stories high, if that makes sense. So as I was holding on to the top of the the um, van and the, the water was taking me and the vehicle downstream, it was going downhill. And I could see uh, on the right side of me, it was still other buildings just as tall as the one we were in. And I could hear people, you know, screaming and stuff like that. And I could see the water starting to cover the trees. And we were going down here. And I was trying to see where the water was pushing me. And when I looked downhill, I was looking at the water coming on top of me, uh, you know, above me, coming down towards me and was pushing me down. And I could, and I looked to the left side of me, and I could see the water. It was just like an ocean. That's all I could see was water. So I was surrounded by water at the bottom of the bottom like run into an ocean and then I had a big old water wave like ocean coming above me so it was taller buildings uh, outside of the one that we were in so as the water was pushing me down I'm thinking okay if I run into if it pushes me in the ocean I'm gonna drown so as I saw this big building like a brown brick kind of a building um I, that the I was floating towards and the on top of the roof of the van so as I got closer to this building, my thing, okay, what is my plan? Because I don't want to drown. I got to get off the car. And so this is the tallest building that I 
you know, I'm, I'm encountering right now. So I jumped as I was finna pass the building. I jumped off the van, off the top of the roof, and it pushed me up against the building. Like I hit the building really hard. And so as I hit the building, um, it stopped the flow, me from flowing downhill. So I kind of just was just kind of crawling on the side of the building, like, you know, the crawling, I guess. Um, pushing myself on the side of the building so I could get up. And I saw a little, like, other things that I could stand on to climb up higher to get on top of that building. Like, I don't know, it was some kind of metal thing or something. So I got on there first, and then it was something a little taller than that, so I ended up managing to climb on top of that. And I eventually climbed on top of this brick building that wasn't being forced in the water like because the one I came off of, I, I could see the building as it was, I was getting pushed away from the building on top of, I could see the building. It was made out of some kind of wood something, but this building was brick. So I figured it wasn't probably not going to go as fast as the other one did, but I got on top of it, but I climbed up to other stuff and I actually finally got on top of this building. And when I got on top of it, it was, um, the top floor was like a window and then I got up in the window and I kept climbing. I finally grabbed them to some kind of piping or something and I climbed up to the very top of the building. But as I got to the top of the building, when I looked down, it was nothing. It was like water, like a big old ocean. And I could see these, these big waves just coming and coming. And this venture was going to get me. The wave was going to get me because everything was being covered from above in water, immersing in water. So I was on top of the building, but I eventually was able to wake myself up before the water got me, because it was going to get me. I mean, because everything was being submerged underwater. I don't know where we were. I told my husband about it, and I think that's all I remember from it right now, but it may be some more stuff come back later, but it was traumatizing, like seriously, because everything was gone, just about. The size of the big, the tallest building I was on, and a few other buildings, but all the cars and all the people, everything was underwater. I had a dream about that before, but this time the wave was coming up from the sea, coming like, and I was running uphill, going away from the water. This time the water was coming downhill, kind of like it's gonna sandwich me between the ocean, and it was like an, the ocean coming above me too, but. That's all I can remember back right now. All right. Thank you, dear. And I wanted to go ahead and record this because I'm a noah to her. Mm -hmm. um, I have another video that I want to, uh, that I'm going to share with her that she has not seen at all. Oh, Lord. But, <laughs> but, but uh, I think it's just a, an instance of confirmation because she hasn't seen it, oh, God. but I've seen it. Um, I didn't see a vision, but I've seen someone else's uh, experience as it seems like it relates to this. So I just wanted to go ahead and record this one first. And like she, she referring to a first dream, and I believe that that one was kind of uh, a preview of Katrina. If we're in, yeah, if because uh, so she had a vision of water and people before you want Katrina, me to... and mm -hmm. you want and me yes. to tell Katrina. One I had before that one? Yes. Ah, I know. I have these, I say dreams, but they're not dreams. I think they're visions. But before Katrina happened, um, I had this, this crazy dream. And I actually told some of my family members about it because it really scared me. And the dream was basically the water. It was an ocean. Well, yeah, it looked like an ocean. It was a lot of water, and we were running. And all I did when the dreams first happened was happening, I could hear people screaming. And so it was like I came out of um, the, the apartment or housing, wherever I was in. I came out of it and stepped into the street. And when I stepped out into the street, I saw people, my people, African-American people. And that's all I could see was people running uphill. And when I looked to see what they was running from, it's where I saw the water was just rising from the ocean. It was just 
rising up and it was just swallowing people. So I started running uphill. You know, everybody else was running uphill too. So I was running uphill and people were just being engulfed in all this water. And I was just screaming and everybody was screaming. And then I was running. People was ahead of me and they were falling. And I was trying to help people, you know, help pull them. Get up, get up. You got to get up. And then we was running and running, and I was just trying to pull people, and other people was trying to grab up to other people. And we just kept running up the hill. But as we ran up, the water was just, everything was covered with water, but the water was rising from the sea. This time, and we was running uphill. And I got a real far up, farther uphill than most of the people, because everybody else below me drowned. And I finally was able to run up high enough that I could look back down the hill and everything was gone. And I was just standing there and I was screaming. And there was a couple of people around me that was had made it too. But I was screaming and screaming and I was just terrified. I just woke up. And after that, it might have been three days after that, Katrina happened. It's like literally like three days after that, Katrina happened. Yeah. And then when I got a phone call. And, I'm, you know, when my family members I had told them about it, they was like, you, you know, you need to look on TV. And I was thinking, what? And when I saw that, I was just like, I was speechless for a long time. Because I'm thinking, that's what I saw. That's what I saw. So I know I have dreams like that. And I guess he's been telling me I need to write them down. And I need to record them. And I haven't been. Because I just, I mean, what do you do with information like that? I don't know. But I guess you're right. It's time to start documenting stuff. Because I've seen other stuff too. So. Okay. So thank you, dear, for that. And I want to go ahead and get it documented because I'm going to, post this and I'm uh, we'll try to get a part of another video that I've seen after this one mm -hmm. that's related to this same thing uh, that I'm going to post. And like, I, like I said, this is January 2nd, 2022. And she has not seen it. 2022. Yeah. And she has not seen it at all. But I'm going to I'm going to show uh, I'm not fancy enough to be able to show her watch it and show her at the same time. But mm -hmm. I'm going uh, I'm going to uh, Watch again, then I'm going to, maybe if I can put both of them together, I might have to do it in two parts. But uh, thank you, everyone, for your, for your time and attention, and have a blessed day. Thank you, guys.